There it is, the Staples Center in Los Angeles, where we're getting set to bring you all of today's action. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. DA, thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the one spot. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo in at the point guard. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Now here's Bledsoe. After the Kumbo finds Middleton. Here's Giannis. The shot from the low post is good. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor, and that's a quality all great scores have. Rondo against Middleton. Nice shot by Rondo. And how about the concentration there by Rondo? Always got the antenna up when he's near the basket. Bledsoe looking it over. Pass to Giannis. Giannis is double. Five on the clock. And there's Barso on the assist by Giannis. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Yeah, it's all about establishing the rhythm. I mean, you start to see it far, you begin to believe. You know, with the deep playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and, and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. LeBron's shot is good. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid range area. Now, here's Bloodsoe. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. Now, here's Bledsoe after LeBron James's miss. Bledsoe with it. And he lays it straight in. Bledsoe's got five points so far. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. They grab their own miss. Kuzma passes to Davis. Right through the D for the layup. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. Now, here's Matthews. Middleton for three. Kuzma pulls it in. Pass to Green. Now Davis. Covered by Giannis. Davis kicks to Green. He nails it. And we're tied up. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Bledsoe passes to Lopez. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Bledsoe trying to get open his open. No good from Bledsoe. To the middle. Here's Davis. Great pass to set up the lay-in. All-around player. Kuzma's very solid at finding his guys in their spots. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. A shot by Adam Kumbo. Nobody around. Sinks the triple. Seven points in the game.
Oh, he can be sneaky good from deep sometimes. I mean, when he gets clean looks, he's got the ability to do some damage out there. Now, here's LeBron. Here is Davis. Here's Rondo. But they recover it. Green finds James. Outside, Davis over Lopez. That one rolling around and runs out. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for Milwaukee. Here's Rondo. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Rondo's got his second bucket of the game to go. And at his best is Rondo when he's attacking in the paint. Beautiful little floater there. Easy to get it up and over the defense. He's perfect from the field this quarter. He's giving them the fits out there. Lopez with the block. Having to be careful around Lopez. He's solid at time and then to leap up to block shots. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Kuzma. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Antetokounmpo looking it over. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Davis finds James. Second shot opportunity. And Davis can't get it to go. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And the shot goes in. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Bledsoe. Five points in the game. Great tee that time from Davis. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Oh, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. The shot by Middleton, wide open. There's three pointers off the mark. Green kicks to Ronda. Outside, Green. Six to shoot. Here's Davis, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Brooke Lopez. Lakers shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Taking two shots. Shooting two. That one is off. Some changes for the Lakers. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Contavious Caldwell Pope comes in for LeBron. And it's Avery Bradley in for Green. He hits the second from the line. The Bucks have gotten eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Lopez finds Hill. And Davis sends it back. And he recovers it. 
Here's Lopez. Passes it to Ilya Sope. Shot clock at six. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. Now, here's Lopez. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Ilyasova against Rondo. Inside, Davis. A shot missing. Now the Bucks take it the other way. They come off a really big loss on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. They looked overmatched today. I, I thought they lacked aggressiveness and hard out. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. First one falls. And guys, I love George Hill's game. He's a smart defender who can score the ball pass. He's, he's a winner. Both free throws good from Hill. Lakers trail by eight. Down low. Here's Cousins. Lakers passing it around. Rondo kicks to Bradley. To the paint. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And Bradley is so crafty in how he executes pick and roll plays. I mean, generating easy buckets thanks to his high basketball IQ. Lakers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Bucks leading by five. Hill passes to Lopez. And here is Ilias Hogan. Hill, no good. Here's Rondo. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Hill passes to Ilias Hogan. There's the dish to Corver. Kicks to Hill. Lock at six. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And George Hill is a live weapon coming off the pick and roll. He can pull up, pass, and then attack the rack. Coldwell Pope with it. He's picked up by Hill. Kept alive. Outside for Davis. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Defense! Defense! The pass to court. Fires from deep. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. In the corner, Bradley with it. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Milwaukee leading by three. Defense! Defense! A minute 20 left to play in the first. Connaughton has it in the corner. No oh, good with the triple. You can't hit that one. Your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Now here is Hill. Pass to Lopez. Shoots over Cousins. Lopez, no luck. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Davis makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Lopez. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got four rebounds in this game. 
And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. All right, and Kyle Will Pope just knows how to run correctly in transition. He runs wide outside those hashes. He sees lanes and angles so well out there. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for Los Angeles. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? They're just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. But well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about this. Los Angeles leading by three. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. They've got Hill. Robin Lopez out there with Ilya Sopa. Then there's Kyle Corbin. And it's Connaughton in at the three. Bradley, that's for two. That shot, no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. And that was the correct play to make. George Hill, a very discerning playmaker. Hill against Rondo on the left block. And he can't bank that one in. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. Pass to Connaughton. He kicks it to Ilias Hope. Shot clock at five. It's back to Hill. Here's Lopez up and in on the layup. Lopez has got his second basket of the night. Oh, well, Lopez is terrific on the offensive glass. I love seeing him use his long arms to haul in the ball. This is it to Brent. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And the Lakers lead by one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now the pass to Connaughton. And he's good on the three ball. Connaughton's got five points now this quarter. And Corver, a team first guy, when one of his guys is open, he wastes no time in delivering the pass. Right side, Rondo. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Inside, score the basket, his second of two attempts. Fleshing out his interior game bit by bit. Ilya Sova knows he has the skills to get it done. Now McGee. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. No good from Cousins. Here's Connaughton. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Connaughton passes to Lopez. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Lopez has got his third basket of the night. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. So the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. with some changes. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Cousins. LeBron comes in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Green in for Rajon Rondo. McGee finds Kuzma. Lakers passing it around. Back to Bradley. Kuzma outside. Pass to LeBron. Shot to stop the run. That shot is off. Great D that time for Middleton. Here's Butso and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. 
The Bucks have gone two for two in the game at the line. The free throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. So drops them both. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. LeBron against Middleton. And James throws it down. Oh, powerful presence on the court. It's hard to match James' strength inside. And here's Giannis from outside. But they'll get another chance. Lopez against Green, just five to shoot. For three, Blunzo, a rebound by the Lakers. Outside, Green kicks it to James. Outside, Brent, back to LeBron. Uncovered. He can't hit that time. And Milwaukee the other way now. And they double up Giannis. So finds Matthews. And a great assist by Blunso as that one goes in. Matthews has got himself on the board with three there. Lakers trail by nine. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. LeBron passes to Kuzma, lays it up, and banks it in. Even under pressure, Kuzma keeps his concentration, refusing to let the defense alter his shot in the paint. Outside Matthews. Pass to Middleton. That one good for two. Middleton's got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. James looking around. Bradley against Under Kumbo. Here's LeBron, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, you got to be careful around James. Always looking to get to the line whenever he can. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Oh, you love how effortless James makes this game look. Everything comes easy to him. That one misses. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on an 18 to 7 run. The kick out to Adetokounmpo. Three ball. Green with the rebound. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing here by eight. On the wing, James. Over Giannis. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. And he hit that one three point in the first quarter still. Oh, oh that was something <laughs> James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. From deep, Giannis. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the goal. Here's Green. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks leading by nine. There's the lob and the combo. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Green dishes to McGee. Good as Green picking up the assist. McGee's got his first two points. Nice pass. I mean, putting in work on the interior. Gotta love it. And 
Ryan Matthews kicks to Lopez. And another three for Milwaukee. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Outside Brent. Seventeen foot shot on the way. It's good. Bradley's got four points in the quarter. Uh, with the high release and strong elevation, Bradley's got an effective jumper in his own. It's stolen by Bradley. And there's the feed to McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And you're going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. James, the bounce pass. Just five on the clock. And the dunk by James. LeBron is so powerful. Amazing how he maintains focus, even with the D draped all over. Adekumbo gets to Middleton. Passes to Bledsoe. Shoots over Brent. No good from Bledsoe. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held him back as a team. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Kuzma. Bledsoe outside. The pass to Adetokounmpo. Shoots over Kuzma. And that's good from Adetokounmpo on the assist from Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got three assists now in this one. And the Lakers call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Adetokounmpo. Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. substitution here for the Lakers. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Anthony Davis comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Longwell Pope, he's checked in for Green. Anjan Rondo subbed in for Avery Brent. And the ball handling moves of James are sensational. Effortlessly slicing through the deep of his quick. Rondo against Hill. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. That's his first foul. Los Angeles on D. Four-point game. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by LeBron. Throws up. And James throws it down. James is great at staying alert on defense, pouncing on any opportunity he sees to swipe the ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on LeBron James. The Bucks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Makes the first. Both shots good from the strike. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. 
Feeds it to Davis. Rebound, Milwaukee. They've led by as much as 10. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. And that one's good from Connaughton. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Cousins. Here's Rondo, defended by Ilya Sova. Rondo drives in. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Eight points for Rajon Rondo. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. To the middle, here's Ilya Sova. Davis with some nice D. I don't think the D does good enough here, but something causes the miss. And LeBron James gets it to go. Oh, this is the confidence that James has. He knows he can take and make this shot when given the chance. Hill passes to Lopez. Here's Connaughton. Three-pointer. That one, no good. From deep three-point range. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Bucks lead by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Contavious, you guys were getting a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. How important was that? I mean, they was important, man. We got to keep them off the glass. Uh, we can't get them second shot. And we got an offensive rebound to well. Get us on uh, the second chance at the basket. Just keep working hard. Well, you made it work in the first half, KCP. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. We've got Shaq here, got Kenny the Jet. Well, for the Bucks, they're playing well in spurts and find themselves in a very competitive matchup at both ends of the floor. With the chance to even the series up tonight at one game apiece, they have a lot of motivation to play tough in the second half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? I love it. You know why I love it, Ernie? Because they're getting the ball inside and converting, not just sitting back behind the line shooting threes. See, that's kept the defense crammed with them. They were able to lock in on anything. Get it in, we'll kick it back out, then you shoot it. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. And it's LeBron in at the small court. That season a game for the Lakers. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Pass to Davis. Back to LeBron. Down low, and it's Davis finishing it off. I mean, the passing genius of LeBron coming to the surface. I mean, a look at only a few players in the league can make. Lutzo passes to Giannis. Middleton against Kuzma. Lock at six. And to Takumbo finds Middleton. The Bucks keep it going. A new 14 second clock. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roll that freely on the glass. And it's Davis with the jam. Just so resourceful 
as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Lakers trail by three. Kuzma kicks to Rondo. Great D that time for Middleton. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Oh, textbook defense. I mean, it took a good angle to the shooter and bothered the release. Outside Rondo passes it to LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. Coming off the screen. LeBron showing the poise. He does this play time and time and time again. Here's Butso, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul called on Los Angeles. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Second free throw, good. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. James, the pass to Rondo. Kuzma outside. Davis against Lopez. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. against Bledsoe. He kicks it to Giannis. Middleton outside. And stolen by Kuzma. Now the Lakers on the break. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Kuzma's got six points. Quick instinct of Kuzma. He's going to know it when to go after Steele. Hunter Tacumbo. And the slam dunk by Hunter Tacumbo. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Los Angeles calls timeout. James kicks to Rondo. Back to James. Over Middleton. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And the dunk by Giannis. Yeah, I mean, maybe he could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. To the inside. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. And that's rocking the rim. Give him two points and tap on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensation. The kick out to Lopez. Out of the Kumbo trying to break loose. Lopez, no luck. Green up on top. He's covered by Matthews. Rondo passes to Kuzma. LeBron with it. Here's Davis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. What very close to a three point play right there. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. Two shots. The 
the first free throw is good. JaVale McGee's check in for the Lakers. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Matthews dishes to Middleton. Giannis outside. Battles through traffic and lays it in. On to Dekumbo, has got 12 now in this quarter. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. Kuzma finds McGee. Outside, Green. Now here's Davis. He's covered by Matthews. 14 feet away, and it's Davis missing. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. They've led by as much as 10. Balls knocked loose. Outside Rondo to the paint. Milwaukee with the rebound. Middleton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Rajon Rondo. The Bucks have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope comes in for Green and then for Milwaukee. Ilya Silva, he's checked in for Lopez. Corver comes in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Ludson. Outside Rondo. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Out to the right wing. Five to shoot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Kyle Corver. And the bruising game of Cousin, nearly impossible to match up with him given his massive size. It's his first trip to the line. Taking two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. Oh, what makes Cousin successful? You have to be willing to challenge people night in and night out at both ends on the floor. Robin Lopez has checked in for Chris Middleton. And so DeMarcus Cousins nails both of them. Bucks leading by five. Now here's Giannis. He has 30. And there's Corver on the assist by Antetokounmpo. Corver's got his first basket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Kuzma outside. And they double up Cousins for three. Caldwell Pope. Milwaukee with the rebound. Outside Corver. And there's the pass to Antetokounmpo. No good on that one. And it's the Lakers the other way. Here's Kuzma. Milwaukee with the rebound. Elias has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Lakers trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the versatility of Caldwell Pope, not just the score from outside, but also a threat to shoot the ball close to the hoop as well. Pass to Lopez. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Rondo. Down low. Cousins. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got six assists in the game. Milwaukee leading by three. Hill kicks to Ilias Hope. Lopez against Kuzma. Deep two from Hill. Here's Lopez. Sinks that one from the post. Lopez has got eight. These are the shots that the coaching staff wants Lopez taking. You see why when this is the result. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Cousins. 
fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. The Lakers have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. And the Bucks making a change here. Donatons checked in. The free throw drops for Cousins. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And this gets his teammates going. When Ilya Sova dunks it, it's a real team energizer. Lopez with the steal. Corver against Caldwell Pope. With the second effort, and the rejection by Cousins. And the defense of Cousins making his presence known with the quick leaping ability which he uses to block shots. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Caldwell Pope. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. As to Connaughton, takes the three. A three-pointer is right on target. 13 points in the game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Los Angeles calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Hill against Rondo. Now here's Cousins. Not a lot of room. It's stolen by Hill. Fast break. Milwaukee. Here's Middleton. It doesn't go for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Inside. Shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Milwaukee leading by five. If the floater moves back up and is laid up and in by Middleton. Middleton's got eight points. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Cousins against Lopez. Out to Kuzma. Lock it two. And again, the Lakers no good. His bad night from the field is only going to get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Middleton can't get it to go. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Milwaukee with the ball. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Kicks to Lopez. Hill drives in. Sneaky veteran drive. Hill's going to get the buck. Get fouled. The Bucks have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. LeBron's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Both free throws good from Hill. And uh, 101 left to play in the third. 
Rondo with it. Eight points for him. Here's Cousins outside for Caldwell Pope. Can they get it? And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And the floater very much part of Hill's repertoire. I mean, at his height, that's a useful shot. And they double up LeBron. Passes it to Cousins. And that one, good. Cousins has got nine points here in the second half. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Rajon Rondo. Unafraid to mix it up inside. Hill with the strong move draws the foul. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. No good at the stride this time. His second miss is also. That's not like him at all. I mean, he's been so steady up to today. Here's LeBron, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. James has got four points this quarter. The way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. And so it's Milwaukee heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Do it again for this quarter. 0-0. Zero, zero. Same effort, same mentality. Keep pushing. Keep moving the ball. Now Mike likes how they're working the ball right now. And, you know, Coach highlighted it's a brand new quarter. They need to play with the same fire. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Ilya Sove at the four with Lopez at the five. Ludzo is out there with Kyle Corvin. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. And Cousins kicks to James. LeBron is doubled. Shot clock at six. There's the pass to Davis. On deep. Eric Ludzo with the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. I'm trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. I see a lot of this now. That's to Lopez. Got that bucket. And the Bucks lead by nine. The main area of expertise for Lopez. I mean, he's excellent at finding ways to cash in from there. From 10 feet out, again, Los Angeles. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. And there's the foul. It's on Quinn Cook. That's his first foul. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hondo's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Matthews, he's checked in for Kyle Corbin. The kick out to Ilya Sova. Head shot off. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it. So he don't get many chances. Anymore. And Davis can't get it to go. But they get it back. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to haul in that one. Shoots from the baseline. Matthews, no good. Lakers trail by seven. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And you think of all the different images in your mind. Over the years of James attacking the rim. Bledsoe kicks to Ilias Oakley. Pass to Middleton. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him. 
Yeah, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal and has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. Bounce pass from Bledsoe. Top of the key. And he nails that one right through the net. And the Bucks lead by five. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. And they double up James to the middle. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Cousins. Cousins has got his third assist on the night. And Matthews kicks to Bledsoe. Over three and a half minutes to the final quarter now. And yes, it's good. Bledsoe's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Oh, and he, he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle, some urgency from him there. Sure. Pass to Middleton. To the left wing. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Cousins has got rebound number 13 with that last one. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. Here's Davis, and it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for the Bucks. They've led by as many as 11 points. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. Checked in for Ilya Sova. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. This game is obviously close, could go either way, and he wanted to make sure that his guys were all on the same page and were all staying with the game plan in order to close this one out. Kevin? Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. It's all clicking for him right now. I mean, they got to body him up better than that. Here's Davis. Hunter the Kumbo grabs the miss. And the activity he shows around the round is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend this work. No good from Bloodsoe. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. They kick it out to Green. Here's Davis. Stolen by Bledsoe. To the inside. And Bledsoe hit the stuff. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of a game. Floats it up for James. Oh, what a beautiful pass. And then to catch and finish all in one motion. It's too tendous. An alley-oop like that, Greg, is so rare. You just got to take a second and enjoy it. Lopez passes to Bledsoe. From 10 feet out, chalk up two there. Bledsoe's got nine points now in just the second half. Oh, I like the unselfishness of Lopez. Showing that he wants to get it to his guys. Giannis with some nice D. Milwaukee leading by five. Here is Matthews. Bloodsoe outside. Trying to get open his Lopez. That doesn't go either for Bloodsoe. 
some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure those two will have a good laugh about it later. Here's Davis. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. And that's now 29 points for Anthony Davis. Bloodso outside. Deflects the pass. And under to Kumbo, slams it in. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. And Kevin, this is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. You gotta love it. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Outside green. Ludzo against Rondo. And the rejection by Giannis. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just three points on the basket from DeMarcus Cousins. Middleton the pass to Giannis. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Come on, guys, someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Here's Bledsoe, and the layup is good. Bledsoe's got 11 points here in just the second half. He's pulling out all the tricks this quarter. They can't figure out how to stop him. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. Lakers trail by five. The pass to James. It is good. The assist from Rondo. And that's 31 points for LeBron. Oh, I love how James takes hold of these possessions. When his team needs a basket, he steps up to the plate. Middleton for three. Bangs on the trifecta. And the Bucks lead by six. Well, he's not going to get it easy. Don't need to double team him. But you can't leave him all alone. James. And the rejection by Giannis. Matthews goes in. A fantastic dunk. And, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. And they double up Davis. Outside for Ronda. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. And while that jump shot has been a, a, a work in progress throughout his career, Rondo every now and then can get high. He's having a great night from the floor. They're going to keep leaning on him, looking to grow the lead. It's Davis on the win. Over Lopez. And it's Davis missing. Milwaukee leading by eight. Pass to Giannis. Back to Bledsoe. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And that will effectively take care of game two here in the NBA Finals. We'll be switching venues for the next one. But right now, an important win for the Bucs.
was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He was the one dictating the pace tonight, playing up-tempo or slowing it down, but always scoring. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Loads it up for Davis. Bloodsoe against Green. Bloodsoe outside. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.